How's it going, my YouTube family? Welcome back to Welcome back, my YouTube family. How's it going? Post with you guys, reply to comments, and have fun with the friends at home and share my life. I don't really like go in depth and spend a lot of time on social media. What is up, my YouTube family, and welcome back to another vlog. I woke up super late today. I actually was pretty tired from last night, pretty tired from the weekend, and it just kind of all hit me like at once. So I just definitely had to get some sleep. But, anyways, I'm about to head up to CX Racing right now. But before I continue on the vlog, I want to talk about something that I actually saw, and I'm curious to know your guys' opinion. And this actually might help me out from making a mistake in the near future of me working on my car, even though, like I said, I built this car for myself. You guys build your car for yourself. You guys do what you want for yourself. I push that on my vlog all the time. But anyways, but he bought a body kit, and it wasn't a Rocket Bunny body kit, and he got so much hate. People were bashing this guy. Like The internet is a very, very, very mean place when it wants to be. Of course, there's trolls and stuff like that, but I guess he was getting hate from like people that actually really followed him and looked up to him. So what do you guys think? Like He didn't get the actual Rocket Bunny kit, and the Rocket Bunny kit is amazing and is very expensive. And he got an off-market off kit, and a lot of people are hating on that. So I'm going to give you guys my little opinion on what I think. I think when you're building your car for you, it doesn't really matter what kit you get. Maybe you can't afford it. Now, some people look at his YouTube channel, how many people he has, or subscribers he has, and how much money he's probably revenuing off of the YouTube. And you would think he would just go all ball out and buy the Rocket Bunny kit. But when there's a kit they maybe got for cheaper, and it does just the same thing, I don't really hate him for buying that kit. I really can't judge him because right now, like even for instance, this turbo kit, this turbo kit isn't comp turbo or Grady turbo kit or custom turbo kit. This is something and some of the parts obviously are made in China. So they're not, it's not like the Grady turbo. You know what I'm saying? And I'm choosing to go with this turbo kit because it does the same thing. Now, am I going to upgrade parts? Am I going to better some parts and, and change the parts? Yes, 100% I am, but it's just a simple platform to work off of to create something that you're trying to create with saving a little bit of money. I'm just someone out here building a race car enjoying it having a great time my friends learning creating a business and entertaining you guys and hopefully every time you guys watch this vlog you guys leave a little bit of knowledgeable or you leave a smile on your face or I made you laugh or something like that because that's the whole reason why I make these videos because I'm not gonna daily vlog I say all the time about me just living in my normal life because you guys have your own life to live so Anyways, that's just my thoughts on this TJ Hunt thing. Comment down below what you guys think. If you think it was right for him to get the, the, the one-off body kit. Or think it was wrong for him to get the one-off body kit. Because, I mean, everyone's opinion is different. And I definitely just want to give my input on it. Alright, let's get to CX Racing. Oh, there's a part right there. But it's not the right part. Yeah, definitely got the wrong part. Can't believe that. What, what can you do now? I gotta wait for the right part. Which is gonna prolong my build being finished. All right, so I'm on my way to CX Racing right now, and I told you guys before, I'm not sure if I went into detail or not, about that I was in a car accident, me and my girlfriend, and my other Camaro that we had uh, before I got the 1LE. Well, anyways, the lawyer that we had didn't do jack crap. It's been almost two years, almost two years, and he hasn't done anything. Now, it's a kind of a weird situation. I can't talk about it from, you know, legal standpoint, I guess. I don't know if I can or can't, but legally, I, I mean legally. Anyways, the lawyer we had didn't do crap at all and I'm getting really pissed because I lost a lot of money not only from the car stuff that I put into it but from you know the car parts and everything but from time I was injured and like it's just so irritating it's so irritating you guys don't even know I just want to vent that out real quick I'm just really pissed I just want money it's my money I want it now anyways let's get over the <laughs> alright I'm done alright guys so I'm over here at CX Racing I just actually got done I'm supposed to sign this thing like three weeks ago but yeah Kind of getting around to it so anyways you know i mentioned that i ordered the wrong part well yeah definitely got the wrong part still gonna affect this i thought my tuner had it but it was actually the wrong part so still a little bum still looking for making a whole bunch of phone calls but you left me in the worst way heart torn even blood stains all over the table cloth and i can never scar them all but i won't let you haunt me all the scars in my body what's up what are you doing Ace? Oil cooler lining. Oh, we're recording. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do an oil cooler on this thing. It's 
uh, this poor little motor misses some really high old temps. A lot of hot, high everything. It's gonna be cool. High horsepower, high temps. So you gotta keep stuff cool. So we're gonna install this uh, old cooler that our uh, engineer over there, Renee, just uh, just drew up on the cat drawing in like two seconds because he's amazing, right? By the way, guys, this is Renee. He doesn't like to be on camera. He never wants to be recorded. All right, so right now I'm checking out the Honda Genesis that they're actually gonna do uh, 2JZ swapping. So look how small these turbos are in the 2JZ. Those are, there's one right there, two, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Boom, there's one, there's two. Now let's look at the size of my turbo. <laughs> That's my turbo. Good lord, I didn't know the I, I didn't know the 2JZ turbos were so small. It's amazing, right? I wasn't aware of how small it was. That's pretty cool actually. That's a pretty cool little swap. But anyways, right now, still working on the car. Everything pretty much looks the same. Uh, still gotta do some rewiring. And then he has this big old cooler wire here. Oh yeah, yeah, I got the oil cooler. I can see right there, got the oil cooler. Um, today should be the last day and then I just got, we're waiting for these parts. That's it, all we're doing is a weight game now. All right guys, so this is the part right here that is not, it was not shipped correctly. This is the part that is holding me back. This is the part that is impossible to find right now. Literally finding out building cars and finding, getting parts that are extra and customizing parts are damn near impossible. No one ever keeps them stocked. So you literally have to just order and last minute order is not okay, is not bueno. But anyways, this is it right here. I just sent it over to Hill Bank. Hopefully they can help me out. If not, I'm screwed. All right guys, so product update. I just talked to Summer Racing, ordered overnight shipping, fare, whatever. A $18 part just turned into a $52.36 part. Overnight shipping from Ohio, yeah. So, <laughs> which is driving, you can literally drive there. But anyways, I don't care. Actually no, it should be from Nevada. Oh really? Yeah, so maybe it'll be here today. I don't know, it won't be here today. No, definitely, it's wishful thing. Anyways, so we're about to put in on back on the front end of the car. Right there is the oil cooler for the turbo. For the engine. For the engine. It'll cool off the oil. It'll cool off the oil for the turbo. I know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to talk more about the whole motor build. You only come and go when you feel like it. Been at it for a while, but you won't come in. This inconsistent love is messing with my head. And we're doing a little photo shoot with a car right now. Got them doing the, some work for their uh, Instagram and for their website. And also, we're probably going to be on, you know, when someone buys a kit, they can see more pictures of how it's going to look when it's actually installed. R&D life, baby. All right, so we're still over here at CX Racing working on the build. And actually, Andrew just walked in. That's my first time actually meeting him. Super cool guy. And he drives a SIG-ass BMW, so I want to tell a little bit more about his BMW. And he was actually in LSX Magazine. Yes. That's dope. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Andrew. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Andrew for Real with two E's. Uh, I drive a E46 M3, uh, LS swapped, uh, fully built, full caged. Uh, basically, it's a FD car uh, minus the power that I built for Pro Am. So that way, hopefully, when we, you know, if we win. Uh, Pro Am, then I don't have to build another car. But uh, yeah, it's basically we huge sponsors. Everybody came in on board. We were able to get the car done. It took a couple years to build. Um, you know, we had a lot of people that helped out. CX Racing came in. They helped out. They did the mounts and the, the headers and all that. Uh, I actually just teamed up with the G1 Auto Concepts. They're going to be doing the wrap and the wide body for me for next year. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait. Uh, you know, a lot of big companies uh, stepped in. D, uh, DR Concepts, they finished my car as well. So, you know, I'm looking forward to 2017, meeting a lot of great people. Uh, I can't wait to, to see what's going to happen. All right, so I always got a question for everyone on my vlog. Like, what's your inspiration to someone that's going to be starting to build or in the middle of a build? Like, what's your inspiration to keep them going? Because I know it gets stressful. Well, well, well I know it gets stressful. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the key is don't give up. Uh, you never, just, just try to you know, follow through it till the end. Um, it gets a lot more expensive than you'll ever expect. That's what happened with me. I almost gave up halfway through because it was just, I was just putting money, 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 and there was no car. So, so, and it, you know, it'll drag a lot longer than you'll expect. It'll cost a lot more than you'll expect, but honestly, the end result is worth it because when I finished the car and the first time I ever took that car out, I had a smile so big, man, it was, Unbelievable. It's it was just like a dream come true when the car was done. 
So. Oh yeah, man. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, man. No problem. All right, you guys. This is Ace again from CX Racing. Um, we're on the last last days of the build. Uh, we're just waiting on a few uh, spark plug um, connectors. We got everything mounted. The turtles mounted. Everything's ready to go. Uh, just basically gonna do some a quick check on everything. Make sure everything's tightened down right. Uh, make sure nothing's left loose. Uh, hook up a few vacuum lines, and I think should be ready to fire up. So. Should be ready to make some cool, uh, cool unicorn power, right? So horsepower predictions um, are, are are high hopes, but uh, <laughs> now nah, we should be anywhere within the range of six to seven hundred horsepower, depending on how much boost uh, Ed Heffitt wants to run. But they can easily do more than that. You can max his turbos out at 22 pounds. <laughs> He's then, the, then, then the pistons go shoo, all Yeah, then the stuff starts flying everywhere. Yeah. But you know, most likely gonna do eight pounds. Um, seven pounds. Seven pounds. Be safe. We're, gonna do, we're gonna do eight pounds. <laughs> we're gonna do twenty pounds. And we'll be around the five something range, six hundred to the wheels. So it should be pretty good. It should be a fun street car. Alright guys, so it's it wrapping up for a day. I'm about to head back home right now. About to get by a freaking van. And hopefully by tomorrow I'll be towing the car down to Tunes by Tad. And then we'll begin tuning on Friday. Yo, what's up, guys? So right now I'm actually heading up to meet Mike at Andy's Tires. So I don't know the full story, but I'm gonna want to know more about this, and we're gonna learn more about it once we get there. But I guess there's this, this like security guard, parking enforcement guy whose whose dad is a cop, and he just bullies people that park by Andy's shop. He's just complete jerk to everyone, and I just no one understands it. And so now everyone's starting to get mad and gonna start setting complaints against the guy. But I don't know the full story, so we'll talk more to Andy's Tire, then we'll talk more to Mike once I get there. Good. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Mike. We're here at Andy's Tires. Andy's the owner over here. Reason we're here today and doing this vlog. Uh, yesterday I was here trying to get uh, tires for my shop van, and I had registration, I had a temp pass, I had the works, everything little 22 year old parking meter guy shows up gives me a ticket for no front plate which is cool understandable i didn't have the front plate and he gave me a ticket for no registration where i had valid registration and i had a temp pass which we'll be posting that up later but the key thing is he targets this business everybody that comes here always gets a ticket so we're gonna put this guy on blast his name is officer dulong Pomona City Police Parking Enforcement Division. So if you guys know him and you've experienced this, make sure you guys reach out on this vlog. You put a comment at the bottom. Make sure you share this video. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fed up with these wannabe police officers. I mean, you know, I get it. They got a job to do, but they're abusing their power. They're being bullies. This kid was being a bully. He was totally disrespectful to me. I told him, all the people I know, and you know, everything's legit, this and that, and he straight out looked me in my face and he goes, I don't care. So, he said that also because his dad's a police officer for Chino Hills, which I wonder where he's learning, where he's learning from. We'll see, we'll find out because this is gonna go viral, we want it to go viral, and we're gonna start interviewing people that have gotten tickets from him and how he does stuff. As a matter of fact, last night, a lady was waiting in the loading unloading zone right there. She pulls in, she's already pulled in and parked, they're already changing out her tires, and he gives her a ticket. Really? How can you do that? That's not fair. So stay tuned guys, more to come. I know this might sound crazy. Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Oh. I'm not trying to sound basic. Yo, what's up guys, so I'm back over here, CX Racing right now. As soon as I got here, we actually had to go take Ace to AutoZone to pick up some Mobile One. Boom, got that for my car. And this is actually my new, for my air filter. I mean my oil filter, sorry, so. We went and we got one and it didn't work, so we had to go back, so now we're already back from the second trip. Didn't film all this because of a stressful time. Also found out that the fuel injectors that were ordered were the wrong fuel injectors, so. It's been pretty stressful today, but bear with it. It's coming along. Anyways, this is going to be last day. Uh, my car is here. Tomorrow is a big day of the tune. So, pretty much, I'm going to get some B-roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Put a billboard in my city, yeah, I do it for the stunt Riding Bentleys in your city, yeah, I do it for the stunt I might fly your girl out with me, yeah, I do it for the stunt I might go and blow like 50, yeah, I do it for the stunt Yeah, I do it for the stunt, yeah, I do it for the stunt, yeah, I do it I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on next week. And that's when my car's gonna be on the dyno. Super excited. Or maybe I'll just post it early because I want everyone to see it. We'll find out.